for that, I'd like to ask you some yes or no questions, which are, of course, not that easy. But can you train performance under pressure? Uh, is, is it a trainable skill? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. For everybody? Uh, I think everybody can improve. <clears throat> so if you if you do the proper things, then everyone uh, can improve uh, in how they perform or react or respond within certain uh, high stress situations. Okay, that's great. So then we can talk. For, for, yeah, otherwise we could uh, stop. Uh, yeah, otherwise <laughs> we could stop. And uh, is there uh, extra training time necessary for uh, learning how to perform under pressure? Because as instructors, we know that we have uh, 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 not that much training time. So if you need a lot of hours besides that, it's... Uh... Yeah, the, the answer is yes and no. Of course, if you could have more training time, that, that would be good. But uh, uh, the challenge is always to uh, achieve what you wish to achieve within the time that you have. So yeah. if you have uh, four days of training a year, uh, then the critical question is what do you do in these four days that helps police officers the most in uh, performing uh, within their jobs? So this is when they're already police officers. Yeah. Of course, you have the police academies where there's a whole uh, program in uh, in learning. Uh, so, so it's really thinking about uh, what is needed to learn to perform under pressure uh, and how much time you have and then make sure that you... Uh, 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 fill in the program as as as, as best as possible for uh, the, the goals that you have. And then the related question, also a yes or no question, do we need specific training for that or can it be done in the training we already do? Um, well, you need to do specific things within the training. But uh, so the, the, as related to the, the, the previous question, uh, like how much time do you have? I think, and this is a bold statement, of course, but not all time that, that is used for training is used optimally if you look at the goal to be able to perform under pressure. Um, so, um, but I think uh, with all the expertise that police trainers have, it's definitely doable to just make sure that the training that is there also um, um, yeah, fits the goal of becoming better to perform under pressure. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and do the trainers who are going to uh, uh, do this training, do they need to follow a course in sport or performance psychology? Well, not necessarily. It, it, again, it also depends on, uh, on, on, yeah, what you want to do exactly? It, I think, it is helpful if if you're thinking about training for this this purpose, uh, that you know some something about it, and uh, of course that also relates to the 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 recent book chapter that came out, the work by Fana Hutter, a colleague of mine, into uh, didactic, didactical principles that that are important, and uh, most of these principles are are probably followed by most trainers, but again, looking into uh, well, the aim uh, to become better to perform in high risk and high stress situations, uh, you might want to do particular things to uh, to address that. Yes, and it and then it's good to know. So the, the elements in there are: is there self regulation possibilities in there? It's good to know something about self regulation, of course. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. 